Welcome everybody. So, you bought a Vigilant Magnetic Sweeper. Now what? Well, luckily you got me to show you what's inside the box. Because, you know, if you got this at home and you didn't have me to tell you what's inside the box, you'd never know. So, right here we got this beautiful packaging. This thing's packaged in 51 weight cardboard. And we do that because this thing's a little bit heavy. It weighs about 40 pounds. So we do that so uh, when the FedEx guy throws it off the truck, it'll probably show up on damage. We make sure to put everything in heavy duty packaging because you know we know what the shipping guys do. But anyways, let's get into this. So, to begin with, it's very taped up, so you gotta get your trusty little clean air knife and pop her open. Like I said, very well taped. <laughs> it's hard to get it open. So this thing's kind of a shoebox design where it opens in the front. Tape all the way across because we don't play with bad packaging. It's just a little bit. Oh, and it's taped on the sides too. And on this side. That shows you how well we package everything. <clears throat> On to you FedEx, we know how many packages you break. So from here you get your uh, Google review card. Please review us. We, uh, I made these cards, I'd like you to review us if you could, that'd be nice. I don't care if you give us five stars or one star, just give us something. And then you get catalog and of course the instruction sheets. So the assembly instructions and the operating instructions. Now the assembly instructions not that important because this thing's pretty straightforward. The operating instructions are a little bit more important because this thing really needs to be hooked onto clean metal and the lines need to be straight up and down and all of the magnets that hold the sweeper on need to be connected properly. Otherwise you might have a bad time. So um, yeah, we'll just get into it. Lots of styrofoam, more styrofoam, more styrofoam. This is all there for your enjoyment. So when you, you know, take it apart or get it in the mail, it doesn't show up broken. And there's the sweeper itself and another piece of styrofoam. So we'll chuck that all to the side here. Grab this sweeper. A little bit heavy. Put it in the box. And here's the sweeper itself. So Sweeper itself comes with the sleeve on and everything, and you get another box full of parts. This is going to be full of your um, magnet pods that connect the sweeper to your forklift or whatever else you're putting it on. I don't really know what you want to put it on, but whatever you decide, that's up to you. We recommend forklifts, but anything else? No, if you want to try it, do it. Again, very well packaged, hard to open up. So, let's get in here more packaging because everything's packaged well. We don't want people to break stuff on the way there. I hate getting calls from guys saying, oh, it's broken on arrival. We don't do that. So in each one of these packages, there is your magnet quad pod. That's what we call it. And we call it quad pod because there's four rare earth magnets on it. Quad, four, get it? So inside this, this is a uh, nylon reinforced piece of plastic that, um, holds the sweeper itself to your forklift. So with each one of these, there's a little bit of assembly required. Assembly, screwing on a couple bolts. So in every pack, there's four of these packs. I'm just gonna do one for you. There are four of these little pot, these little magnet pucks. So these magnet pucks are rare earth magnets, so they're very strong. And um, these bolt into this plastic piece to hold the sweeper. I'm gonna show you how that's done here. I might have to cut this footage because it might be kind of boring watching me uh, screw stuff together. But anyways, you get the pod. It goes into the bottom of this little plastic piece. And you'll notice the bottom because on the other side of this plastic piece, there's this uh, cutout hole for the nut. So the nut's retained by the plastic and all you have to do is not drop it. All you gotta do is just screw it in. Just finger tight, it's fine. So you do that with all four pieces here. So 
So once you got your uh, four magnet, <clears throat> four magnet pups screwed to this quad pod, that is about halfway assembled. It also comes with this piece, which looks like a little bit of a snail. You probably can't see this because I'm not a cameraman. Can't really zoom in, but it looks like a little bit of a snail. So the way this goes is this whole idea is to clamp the paracord that comes with the sweeper. So eventually, once next couple steps here, this paracord threads through a spot on the sweeper, like like so, and then this will clamp onto that. <clears throat> so to get that clamping pressure, all you have to do is just install this um, snail piece onto the quad pod, and that's done. Just there's this piece here. There's a little piece that's kind of springy. That needs to ride on the piece with a slot cut out of it because that's basically the retainer spring. So all you gotta do to install this is just kind of push the spring away and pop it on and then the spring tension there's a slot cut into it so it'll stay where you need it to stay and then from there so i showed you there is um, let's clear this out. there's three mounting holes on every corner of the sweeper and the point of that is if you have well this is the 42 inch model but either way if your forklift's a little wider or narrower in whatever place you plan on mounting the sweeper, uh, you got about, you know, three quarters of an inch, well, three, three quarters of an inch adjustments in or out. So, like I said before, this sweeper needs to be mounted on a flat, clean piece of metal for optimal holding, because if you don't mount it on that, there's uh, not, not enough friction on these little magnet pucks to hold it on your forklift and it might slip or whatever. So, it, once you look on your forklift and see where the clean flat piece of metal is that you can mount this, you can move the quad pods in or out on these three holes to make sure it's optimal. You ideally want this puck to be on a flat piece of steel that's very clean, and you want the paracord that comes with it to be hanging straight down to the sweeper. You want it on angle, because if it's on angle, it'll pull weird. So these, each of these have about 52 pounds of holding force. So if you stick this on a, I think it's a 5 16th piece of steel, and try to pull it off, it takes 52 pounds to pull this off. This whole sweeper itself weighs 40 pounds, 42-ish. So once you get all four of these on there, you have about 208 pounds of holding force. But that holding force is only applicable if you have clean, flat steel. All four of these pucks need to be in contact with steel on a clean piece so you can get friction from the rubber and the holding power from the magnets without it slipping and sliding. And the cords need to be going straight down. It doesn't have diagonal pulling force, it has straight down pulling force. So you need this thing to be straight up and down with the cords on a flat piece of steel and it'll hold properly. If you don't do that, then you're risking it. But anyways, like I said, that's why we give you these holes off that tangent. So we got the three holes on every corner. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. So this is the outer hole. And the way to thread this in is you want to go up through the middle between all of the uh, four pucks and then this you see the snail part you put on earlier kind of springs out like it's a cam clamp so you see how this works is it cannot pull down because as it pulls down the little teeth in the snail bite into it and makes it pull harder and tighter it's just a cam cleat that's all it is it's a cam cleat if you ever sailed before in your life you know what a cam cleat is so it'll go one way it'll pull this way but you can also pull it this way if you have actual tension on it, then yeah. So you can pull it this way, but if you need to tighten the sweeper up, you can also pull it the other way and it'll let some rope out. So what we found with the easiest way to hook this thing up was to leave the cam cleat, because you can also release with your thumb here, this little thumb latch. The easiest way to hook this up is just have all four points like this, nice and loose, slap them on your forklift in the clean spots, like I said, flats clean steel. That's what, it needs to, that's what it needs to magnetize to. So you put it nice and flat, have it loose, sweep it and hang it on the ground, doesn't really matter, and then just go around the corners and so say, you know, pretend my hand is the forklift holding it on, you just kind of pull it and that will bring it up. And then the cam cleat stops it from going back down. So that's the easiest way we found to do it. Uh, you can do it any way you want, I don't really care. But one big thing you have to make sure is once you have this uh, rope in the quad pod, strung through the cam cleat. Oftentimes, the forklifts you're going to be putting this thing on are going to be 
uh, smaller lower indoor forklifts. This thing's not really a rough terrain type magnet. So you're going to have a lot of loose paracord here hanging out the sides. And that's a problem. So if you watch the video on this page, there's a video of it uh, getting pulled off the forklift and run over. Magnet survived, there's no problem. But the reason that happened was because the cords were just dangling. They weren't strung up properly. So once you get this thing to the position you want, uh, I mean, obviously you're not going to really switch around the forklift the magnet's hanging on. That'd be kind of a waste of time. So your options are to cut the excess rope off if you want. You just cut it and then burn the end so it doesn't fray. Or there's a couple uh, loops around the sides to um, string the magnet up, or string the rope up, sorry, so that it doesn't interfere with anything else. You don't want this rope to be caught in the wheels because it'll get pulled off. So if you have it strung up like this, I just did a little loop around the one retention cord or retention slot and then just did a you know, overhand knot. That's good enough. As long as those ropes aren't dangling, you're good to go. So that's how to connect it. I mean, there's already three videos how to connect the finger to the forklift on this page. But, you know, not everybody watches every video. So that's the quad pod. 52 pounds of holding force in this little baby thing. It's quite sturdy. And this is now nylon reinforced plastic, so, or glass reinforced nylon, I should say. And uh, it's sturdy. So this thing is long. Make sure you got clean forklift steel. You need a flat, clean surface to mount this on. But let's get into the sweeper. <coughs> so let's secure this box. So, Visual Magnetic Sweeper. This is the ceramic model. So it is not quite as good at picking up really low ferrous contact metal, but for general nails, staples, wires, whatever the hell you're picking up, you know, normal stuff, that's fine. This will work great because it hangs so low and it's on a forklift that runs around pretty much every, you know, forklift runs around everywhere. Everywhere that there is loading and unloading is where the metal debris generally accumulates. So the forklift is going to be there and having a magnet on there is just kind of a nice proactive way to prevent metal from contaminating everything else. But let's get into it a little bit deeper. So on the bottom of this thing, we got, you see these ridges here. So this is our clean off sleeve. It's not just a black piece of plastic that's here for aesthetics. On this here sleeve, you'll see there's ridges. So the point of these is that when you're cleaning off metal debris, you pull off the sleeve and these ridges will catch the metal and then pull it off evenly so it doesn't all pile up on the end and then you know flip back around the magnet. Because that can happen if you just have a flat piece of plastic. So the ridges are here to prevent that. This one's pretty cup, so it really catches everything. And also on the sleeve, there is pockets. You see these grooves here. And you're probably thinking, why are there grooves? Why would you do that? Well, so this square part is where the magnet is. And if you're driving and, is this thing magnet? Kind of. So if you're driving and say you hit the grass and it gets swiped around, it gets caught in this groove. That's the idea. So here, I pulled a little bit out of my screwdriver here. So if you're driving, you can say you picked up this little bit, this could punch your tire, and it hits the ground, it hits whatever, it'll still get caught in this groove because this whole housing is packed full of magnets. So this is what we call a wraparound feature, and it will just stay in the retained area. It'll just stay in this ridge. So even if you're driving through grass, mud, water, whatever, and that hits the debris you've collected, it'll still stay on the magnet because it'll get collected in these grooves and stay on. So, that's enough about this. This is all aluminum, pretty sturdy design. Like I said, we ran over the forklift by accident once and it was completely fine. The magnet was unharmed, sleeve still worked fine, and uh, the only thing that broke was one of these little quad pods, which we sell for parts. And, uh, okay, so let's get a little more into this. See on this side, there is no handle. So this is the side you don't clean off from. On this side, there is a handle. So in order to clean this magnet off, there's a little bat wing looking thing. It looks like the Batman logo from the Tim Burton movie. All you gotta do is flip this sideways and all this does is just retain the sleeve. So once that's flipped sideways, there's a handle here to pull the sleeve off. So again, I'll get the bit out. Just throw this on there just for demonstration purposes so you understand how it works. So say you picked up this little screwdriver bit. Once you flip that little bat wing, slide the sleeve off, see how it moves? 
it wants to stay in the magnetic field, but these ridges don't allow it, so it comes right off. Now, this is obviously upside down, so if it was on the bottom of your forklift, it would be inverted, then gravity would make the bit drop, because now this is not magnetized. So, it's just a nice, easy way to clean the sleeve off, and, um, or clean the magnet off, rather than you know, trying to unhook it every time and get down with a putty knife or something. And, uh, yeah, there's, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's got a nice little picture of a gopher on top. And, like I said, the three connecting points here are so you can move it in or out. You can move your quad pods in or out to make sure that the thing fits properly on your forklift. Now, this thing is, uh, like I said, the ceramic magnet, so it doesn't have quite the holding power of the Defiant, but in most applications, it's going to work quite fine. And it's very durable. This thing is a little bit rubberized and sleeve. It's pretty flexible. So you can run it over the forklift. If it does fall off, it shouldn't fall off if you follow our operating manual properly. But if it does, you'll probably be okay. So there you go. And then, you know, there's also a handle on this side. This also comes in the box. That's just to put on the opposite side of the magnet. So if you get this thing full of debris, you can get somebody to hold on the other side with a little handle while you pull the sleeve off. Just a little extra in case you really don't clean it off very often and you're having a hard time pulling the sleeve off. So instead of you know ripping the magnet off the forklift, you get somebody to hold the other side and you pull the sleeve off cleanly. And that's just in this bag. It's just a handle. It's just like a little ripcord handle. It's not, not that complicated. But yeah, very simple design, very efficient design. Fits on everything, no fabrication, no drilling, no welding, no nothing. Very easy, no bolts even. All you gotta do is just put a little snail or put this little cam clamp on your quad pod, screw in the magnets, and that's all it is. That's all there is to it. Just make sure your forklift's clean when you put it on, and it's gonna work good for you.